If I'm going to die, it might as well be in the best three-way ever. Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. Today we're taking a look at another Marvel Legends figure, and it's the Skyline Sirens Spider Girl from the Amazing Spider Man 2 build a figure line with the Green Goblin. And I was really super excited to find this figure. I actually found this at the Emporium 31, which is a flea market a quarter mile down the road for me, for $6, and I could not pass it up. I have never seen this figure on the shelf, so I went ahead and picked her up. So let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at the packaging. All right, so here we have Spider-Girl in the package, and if you notice, she's missing something. Yes, She's missing the Build-A-Figure part, but that's okay. That's why it was $6. Uh, it was kind of funny because, like I said, I found this at a local flea market down the street. That's a really nice flea market, too. Uh, you go in, you kind of shop like a store. You go up to the cash register and check out. It's very, very different from any flea market I've ever seen, but definitely pretty cool. It's here in Greenwood, Indiana. It's called Emporium 31. If you live around the area, check it out. Um, lots of cool stuff. So I found this at a booth. It was funny because there was the spider Gulf figure here and uh, the Iron Man from the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy set. And both of them, whoever had bought the figure set, got them for the Build-A-Figures because uh, these figures have not been removed out of the plastic, you can see. They opened them up, took the Build-A-Figure piece out, threw them back in, and sold it at a discounted price. Which is fine because I'm not interested in that Hobgoblin. I really wanted this figure. But they also had some super cool old school 90s uh, Toy Biz Marvel figures like uh, the Weapon X Wolverine and Apocalypse and Storm. And um, there were so many really cool ones at really good prices. I may have to go back and get a couple of them. I don't know. Uh, but I definitely wanted this figure. Um, this is obviously Spider-Girl. Um, it's part of the Skyline Science. This is a swap out between... Um, was it Black Cat and her? And um, I, I, I just, uh, I, I, I couldn't find this figure to save my life, and I really, really wanted it. This is based off the Anya, is it Corazon uh, version of Spider Girl uh, the, in the new continuity, uh, where she started out as, I think, a Reyna, and then she ends up becoming Spider Girl and, and uh, uh, puts on this outfit here. So definitely cool. This is this was a whole new body mold when this came out. They reused it for the Ultimate Spider-Woman figure, which is really cool. This is probably my favorite, uh, one of my favorite female body molds right now for Marvel Legends. So let's go ahead and get started here. Box exactly the same. It says Spider-Man. It's got the um, Skyline uh, Sirens. We've got a picture of Spider-Man from Amazing Spider-Man 2 there and there. Uh, back of the package, We've got um, the two figures, uh, the Black Cat figure and the Spider Girl figure. There's a little write-up. All the other figures that come in the build away or the way, the Hobgoblin. Uh, so just kind of a close-up there. There's all the other figures that come in this wave. I've already done Carnage, and he's pretty awesome. Uh, the Build-A-Figure Hobgoblin, and then um, there's what the black cat figure looks like and she's really really cool i do like her i just think the spider girl looks so much better and then there's the write-up if you want to pause you can do that and yeah there it is let's go ahead and get her out of the package and see what we think all right so here we have spider girl out of the package and i'm really really digging this figure um love this uh body mold i think they did a really good job with it, it stands on its own really really well um, I am appreciative of that. Of course, there's really nothing on the back there. Um, I like the ponytail. Uh, the colors they did in the hair looks good. The face sculpt looks nice. And then she's got this really cool spider pattern on her body. However, going back and looking at some of the comics and images of the comics, I, I feel like this was supposed to go all the way down to the feet, and then this was supposed to go out to the arms. I don't remember this exact configuration. But uh, if you guys know, definitely put it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Overall, the paint on this came out really, really well. Um, this arm over here is a little 
little bit sloppy other than that everything is super clean super straight the joints are really nice on this figure just kind of a close-up to kind of show this off here i mean she just looks gorgeous that is a beautiful beautiful head sculpt on her i like the pearl in the eyes the lips are painted really well i like the sculpt um little ear hanging out there love the hair i think they did a great job with that um and the shadow effect they put into the hair i mean it just looks really really nice and we get this cool spider on our chest here um little spider cleavage yeah, just really, really nice. And again, it's the same um, body mold that we got with the uh, Ultimate Spider-Woman. Uh, this was the first figure to use this new mold, uh, which I really like, and I hope they keep using it. I'd like to see other figures. I wouldn't mind seeing an X, uh, was it X-23 um, figure uh, with that on there. I think that'd be really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, overall, really cool. I mean, it's the same design. She can look up and down, her head's on a ball joint, she's got the joints at the shoulders, she's got double uh, elbow joints, she's got uh, joints at her uh, wrists, she's got the hip joints, they also spin, she's got double knees, and she does have joints at her ankles, she has no articulation in the waist, which that's perfectly fine. For comparison, here we have Spider-Girl next to the Marvel Legends Red She-Hulk, and she's very short in comparison, which She's supposed to be. She's a teenager, and, well, it's the She-Hulk. So uh, I think these two scale very well together. I like the sculpts on both of them, but I really like, I think, this one a little bit more uh, than I do this one, although I really do like that one as well. And here we have her next to the Scarlet Witch uh, Marvel Legends figure. And, again, she is shorter than Wanda, but Wanda also has these boots on, and she's a full-grown woman. Uh, so in comparison, I think these all look really, really good together. Definitely cool and definitely beefing up my female superhero shelf. And then here are the two I really wanted to compare, the Ultimate Spider-Woman with the Spider-Girl figure. Of course, the Spider-Girl figure came out first about a year ago, and then the Ultimate Spider-Woman came out earlier this summer. They use the exact same body mold, which is really cool. I really appreciate that. Uh, because I like the mold and they've got two different head sculpts and both of them are really, really nice. I am digging them. Now, for some reason, well, I know why. This one's a little more difficult to pose without the stand because of the hair going off to the side where this one poses a lot easier on its own. And uh, that's fine. I, I can appreciate that. But they're definitely very cool side by side. All right, and here is a close-up of the two spider chicks next to each other. Um, you know, I, I don't know if this is a retooled head from this one. I want to say this is a totally different one. They may have used the same eyes, but obviously it's got different hair. Um, it's a different mouth because there's no lips or anything over here, and there's no ears on this figure here. I mean, it's a straight Spider-Man mask with the hair coming out. So I don't know if this is a 100% new head mold uh, over this one. I got a feeling it is, uh, although the eyes look pretty much identical, even in the paint department. Um, and the type of paint they used on the spiders is different. This one's more of a metallic -y silver, I think, and this looks more like a pearlish uh, color. And their spider patterns are totally different, too, which I really do appreciate. So is Spider-Girl a figure that you want in your Marvel collection? I'm going to say yes. I definitely like the mold. I like the design. The colors look cool. It's probably, like I said multiple times, my favorite uh, female body mold out of uh, the new figures. I think they did a really spectacular job with it. Oh, get it? And, uh, I mean, it's just all around a great looking character. Uh, if you can find this figure, this is about a year old now, I would definitely recommend picking it up. If you can find it at retail at $20, it's definitely worth it. I might even give $25 for this thing. If you can get it cheaper, absolutely pick this thing up. It's so worth the money. So there she is, Spider-Girl from Marvel Legends. If you guys like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel, uh, sharing my videos. I really do appreciate it. What do you guys think about this figure? Do you have this figure or any of the other figures with this sculpt? I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. And as always, look for more videos in the future.